Hi guys, how are you? I hope all you are doing good. Welcome to the Learn Pro PhD. So today we will today we will continue with our stack series. So you can uh, you can learn the stack from basic. So the so I have started one of the series. You can go and you can check out the series as well. You can check the series and you can, you, know, you can learn whatever you want. So there are some of the problems I have solved here. So this is from the very basic. You can go through and solve by yourself. So here it is given. Uh, there are lots of things are given. So what it is given here is we have a student that is one one zero zero. We have a sandwiches. So when so the student can contain one zero. The sandwiches will contain one zero as well. So when the when the element when the sandwich is one, when the sandwich is one and the student is one, then student can take the sandwich and he can leave the queue. queue. If a student have zero, if a student have one and sandwich is zero, then a student will leave this place and it will go at the at the end. So right now it will become one. It will take one zero zero one one zero zero. And one will go at the last, so it will become one zero zero, one zero zero one, and sandwich will remain zero one one. But here one zero zero, here zero one one again, it will leave at this place, and it will go at the end, so it will become zero zero one. One will go at the last, so it will become zero zero one one. But right now sandwich is zero, the student is zero, so the student will take take the sandwich. And it will go from the queue. So it will. So student only, the the remaining student will be zero one one, and the sandwich will be one zero one. Now again, we have the student is zero, sandwich is one. So student will go from there, and it will uh, stand at the end. So it will become one one zero. It will become one one zero, and the sandwich will remain one zero one. Again, the student is one, the sandwich is one. So a student will take a student will take the sandwich and it will go from the queue. So the student the remaining student will be one zero. The sandwich will also zero one because the student have taken the first sandwich. Now again the sandwich is zero. A student in one. So a student go from at the first position and it will stand at the last. So a student will become zero one, and the sandwich is also zero one. So now the student is zero. The sandwich is zero. Student will take the this sandwich and it will go from the queue. So the student will remain only one. The sandwich is also one. Again, the again it is one one. So a student will take this one. A student will take the sandwich and the student list is also empty and the sandwich list is also empty. So there are no student are well, means every student are able to eat and we need to find the number of student which are unable to eat the sandwiches or the lunch. If we will take at the look. So one one. So student will take it. So the student remaining is one one zero zero one. The sandwich is zero 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 one one. So student will take it. A student cannot take. So it will go at the end. A student cannot take. It will go at the end. So we we will have zero zero one one one. Zero 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 one and one one also as well. So here we will have zero 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 one one. So this two zero will be cancel out. Will this this two zero now we have zero one one, and here we have one one one. So as you can see, every time we have a one one one, so there is no zero. So there are three students which cannot eat the sandwich. So three is the output. So what we what we have to do here is we need to simply uh, see the first element in the sandwich as the student. If it is equal, then we need to uh, remove these these two elements from the sandwich. Uh, one one element from the student and the sandwich. If it is not equal, then I need to pop the first element and then we put at the end of the student list. So let's do it. So pop. So let's take while the student at sandwich means until these do not become equal, we need to go through it. But maybe the case in this case the list cannot be empty, so it will be running. It will be an it will become infinite loop. So we need to also take care how we can. Break the condition. How we can find a condition so that I can come out of the loop? Otherwise, it will be an infinite loop. 
percentage becomes to a student then what we need to here what we need to do here is we need to simply pop the zeroth element and we need to also pop the else if it is not the case we need to pop the student and we need to s t u d e t s t u d e t s student dot append now i need to append that particular student which have been removed from the list at the end uh, now it is done now i need to return here is simply the what length of stu or length of status whatever whatever you think you can return and the length of the student should be the length of the should be equal to the length of sandwich that is also given in the question now when i have one comma one comma one as a student list and a sandwich is zero comma one comma one so in this case in this case it will never we cannot come out of the loop at any cost so what we need to do here is we will compare this one to this one if it is not so i will pop it this one and i will do i will insert this one so if i will take a counter let's take as a k so i have to have i have find i have gone through the one of the element one of the student now i will again go to this one so again this is not equals to zero so i will again delete it i will now this will become two now the only thing only student is remaining that is one so i will again go through it and i will append at the last now it will become three as you can see as k as counted will become equal to the length of student i can see there is no element which is equals to the first element of the sandwich why so how you can say this assume it assume uh, this is the student this is the sandwich assume this is student is this sandwich and it is zero and we have and we have this one so right right now i will traverse one it will not equal to zero now let's add at the end now k is 1 as k is 1 now i will again go as you can see this this is equal this will become equal now i can remove this two one and my k will again get reset uh, now this is again equal now k is not increasing means if my k equals to the length of student i can see there is no element i can find which is equal to the first which is equal to the top sandwich which is equal to the sandwich as it is given in the question uh, top top of the stack so sandwich is at the top so there is no element which is at the top that is at the top there is no there is no type of sandwich or there is no upper there is no element which is equal to the top of the sandwich or top of top element of the sandwich so as you can see one one so k will become never increase but if we have one one k will increase and it will become to the length of stack so i can say i have reached to the end and there is no element which is equal to the sandwich which is equal to the element of the sandwich so here i need to take counter of sandwich or you can take anything okay so here i need to reset here and here i need to uh, if my if my counter of sandwich is equal to the length of you can take the student or the sandwich so I am taking as a student if it is the case you need to simply break it I need to return it so let's try to run it so it is it should be break not the bell so be students So here we are right here here we are doing only big off and die. But but here we are inserting at the end. So we are traversing one of the element multiple times, but it is in a linear fashion. Assume we assume we have given the length of the sandwich and the student as a handed. So assume we have a one 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 till handed handed times. And again we have a zero 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 we have a zero 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 
till any time. So here I have to work, I have to, I will pop it out, I will insert at the end. So there is no element which is equals to the first, which is equals to the top of the sandwich. So we will basically work how much, how much, what we need to do. We need to only work at the times because k will, as k will become equals to, as k will become equals to the length of the student or, or sandwich, I can say I have traversed all the student and there is no student remaining which is equals to the top of the sandwich. So mainly we can work with the, uh, so the time complexity is big of n and it is faster as well. So you have to practice by yourself, don't be, don't ever be or think that you cannot do, everyone can do whatever he and she can do, she wants, so you can also do, I can also can do. So I will meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye, be positive.